Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at La MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Bronco Wild Track. So we're going to cover, this is our one of our complete guide videos. We're, uh, of course, continuing on this uh, uh working through the complete order guide for the uh, 2023 Bronco and we've come to the the wild track uh, trim here so we're going to go over all the standard equipment plus the different packages available and standalone options on the wild track edition so if you like videos like this like to stay updated on the product what's available on the different vehicles or just staying up to date on Ford information check out our YouTube channel hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell you can stay notified next time I have another video upload to our YouTube channel. So we're again, uh, this is a complete guide. So oh, feel free to, to use the timestamps down below. It's going to be a lengthy video. Move around on different parts of the video. Uh, use that down below uh, for your inf information to be able to move around and find the information you're looking for with this. So we're going to cover the mechanical safety. We'll go into the exterior, interior, and then get to the different packages. So, so you'll find those timestamps down below. Also, if you're looking to get a 23, which hopefully order banks open up, uh, early 23 uh, then uh, and you're wanting to find a dealership that uh, that can do that for you we do MSRP pricing with little information about our special uh, free shipping policy that we have we'll talk about that at the end of the video there's a timestamp for that as well down in the description so let's go ahead and get started talk about some of these mechanical features first all right go ahead and dive in, dive in and talk about some mechanical features first and we are going to use Ford's building price because it is updated as of right now uh, so let's go ahead and kick on over there and look that up so go to Ford.com here, hit your SUVs and crossovers, go to the Bronco. It says 22 there, but when you click the select uh, building price, it is updated with the 23 information. Scroll down, there are 10 different trims for the Bronco. It's always taking us a little, a little while to get through these, but we have talked about the base, Big Ben, Black Diamond, Outer Banks, Heritage Edition, and Badlands. And now we're going to talk about the Wild Track, available in either two-door or four-door configuration here and we'll talk about a uh, hard top uh, situation there when we uh, as we talk about this for the uh, the wild track and as we get into the exterior part of that uh, we're gonna hit the start your build there actually let's go ahead and look at the pricing 52 780 for a two-door version 54 320 for the four-door and as it mentions there uh, engineered for a high-speed off-roading so it is a little bit wider stance than what you're gonna get on the Badlands edition um and it is truly made to go off-road here so click on the start your uh, build here and it'll update there we go go down to the powertrain information we're going to go talk about this the standard uh, powertrain for this the only engine available with the wild track is the 2.7 liter v6 ecoboost engine will come standard with the 10 speed automatic transmission for that uh, i don't forget with this uh, this setup here you're going to get the transmission oil cooler that'll be included with your 10 speed automatic transmission as well as you'll get trail control with standard equipment as well as trail turn assist uh, and of course with the 27 ecoboost you'll have the trail one pedal driving as well so that's going to come all standard here now these are going to the 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 wild tracks do come standard and with the uh, sasquatch package included so you're going to get the front and rear lockers uh, that'll be standard equipment and you'll get the 4.7 axle final drive uh, for that as well so a uh, pretty good setup having that uh, the course of sasquatch already included and standard on that uh, so that's all going to be included now for this year uh, oh, before I talk about suspension, let's talk about the auto start stop technology. This will come with that as part of the EcoBoost engine. So we come to stop light, stop sign. It's going to shut the vehicle off when you uh, press the brake. You let go of the brake, it's going to turn it back on. If that's something you don't like for that engine cycle. You can deactivate it by hitting a little A with a circle around it right there below your uh, center stack screen. Right, in, right there included into your climate controls and you can deactivate it so also this is uh for this year the wild track is not optional it's standard now is the haas 3.0 suspension system so this suspension system includes the ford performance severe duty steering rack and tie rod ends also the train management come with us and it has the goat modes go over any type terrain which includes your normal your eco your sport slippery mud ruts sand and the baja mode for the wild track you're going to get that mode as well uh, don't forget you'll have the power assist uh, steering so that e-pass system electric uh, stability control electric parking brake traction control as well hill start assist is going to be included uh, as well so that's a uh, course that's all of our mechanical features and a good the big one i want to kind of uh, preface is this is the upgraded 
Haas 3.0 system. You'll see some upgrades on the, the look too as well, but getting that suspension system gives you that Ford Performance severe duty uh, steering rack and tie rod ends. So be able to go even better off-road with this and of course wider stands as well. And the 2.7 is going to give you all those capabilities uh, that you're getting with that. So let's move into some of the safety features. Now this is all the same safety features as we did see in the other trims. So if you watched any of those already, those videos, you can probably fast forward to the exterior features. Now talking about some of the safety features again, just like the uh, other trims here, this is going to come for your airbags. Uh, driver and front passenger dual stays airbag depends on the poise of different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Also on the side of those uh, front seats, the driver and front passenger will get side seat mounted airbags as well for that side collision. It's an AB pillar. It's going to deploy that airbag uh, and help protect those in the front seats. Uh, safety canopy side curtain airbag as well with the rollover sensor. So that's going to deploy it on those airbags. So if you have that rollover situation, help from breaking glass and that kind of thing and getting into the cabin of the uh, Bronco. Also, it does have pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. Uh, so basically it has the... Uh, Forward sensing system, uh, forward, I said, should say collision, forward su uh, collision support. So it's going to monitor. So if it sees that you're uh, someone slopped in front of you, you're going to hit them if you continue at that current speed. It's going to preload those brakes and give you those warnings uh, that you need to stop so that when you, when you do hit your brake, it's going to stop even faster. Also, post collision braking. So again, if you're not able, uh, in this case, situation where you actually do get in an accident, and you maybe are unconscious, not able to put in a park, it's going to break the vehicle so you don't have a more severe accident. Um, also, you do get advanced track with roll stability control. Whole goal behind that is to keep you on your intended path. So use a series of brakes and millimeter, millimeter of seconds. Uh, so really quickly, uh, <laughs> that allows you to break the vehicle, keep you on your intended path, going to the curve too fast, maybe slick outside, that kind of situation. Advanced track what does help you with that. Also, you get parameter alarm. So this is going to use intrusion sensors as well as inclination sensors to help protect the vehicle when you have the vehicle locked there's nobody inside the vehicle so if there's breaking if they break the glass try to get in unlock the vehicle then those intrusion sensors are going to go off set off the horns and the uh, lights on the vehicle as well as if they try to jack it up with a you know jack try to take your wheels it's going to do the same thing for you and then lastly child safety lock this is where you can protect, especially for those with the four-door configuration, not the two-door. You don't need to need it for this, but on the four-door, it locks those rear doors. If you can, uh, in the door jams there, you can uh, turn that with your key, locks that up. So that way the kids can't open those doors if you have it turned off and such, and you open it from the outside. Oh, one other thing, talking about kids, this does have a latch system that lower anchors and tethers for children that allows you securely to fasten those uh, child safety, those child seats, whether it be rear-facing or front-facing. Uh, down into those there's uh, some positions on the uh, where the seat backs and seat cushions come together that meet there that's where you can latch those together as well as if you have a front facing car seat you can also uh, harness it the top part of it so that way it doesn't come forward either in that collision for those front facing car seats so uh, i think i covered all the safety features let's talk about the styling now I was start start to talk about the extra styling. Uh, first, let's talk about the different colors available uh, for the Wild Track. You do have, of course, the Shadow Black is available, uh, Oxford White, Cactus Gray is available, Iconic Silver Metallic, Carbonized Gray Metallic, Race Red, e Eruption Green Metallic. It's a new color in 22, it carried over to 23. We do have the hot pepper red. That is a tinted clear coat, so it is an extra cost color. It's $500 for that color. You have area 51. We have velocity blue metallic and a new color for 23, and that's the azure gray. That is a tri-coat color, so three coats of paint. And it is that's why it's $1,000 for that extra cost color. Uh, so there you go. Uh, so those are different colors uh, for you to choose from. So let's move on down. Uh, actually just use these images here to kind of show you how uh, the styling looks like here now for this on the front you can see so i love the, the grill on this so it does upgrade the grill uh, has a bad line style grill but this is going to be painted black so black painted with a, a white bronco lettering on there you also get active grill shutters that will open and close when it needs to to help cool that vehicle that engine off as best it can the front bumper is a power uh, coated steel bumper you see that on the uh, same, same bumper that you do see on the Badlands Edition as well as your uh, Black Diamond. 
two front tow hooks that you can see as well right there on those bumpers uh, led fog lights as well on the bumper there too you will have front steel bash plates that help protect it uh, as well as you're going to get led and uh, i didn't really mention this yet but the led headlights as well so automatic led headlights so come on automatically when it gets dark shut off when it gets light and when you have in the auto setting LED signature lighting is that light ring on the outside of that as well there. You also notice up here, the of course, the fender um, tie downs up here on those uh, those uh, corners right there on the fenders, as well as you're going to see the wild track graphics on the hood. Uh, that is also going to be included with this vehicle. And then just to kind of finish off, I uh, forgot to mention this, the headlights that does have the configurable daytime running lights. So if you want to have those configured during the daytime, you can. That as well as the next feature, the auto high beams. Uh, the auto high beams are going to come on when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light, when it's, uh, uh, of course, if there's someone approaches you in the city lights, of course, it'll deactivate those as well. Uh, so again, that's a feature, the auto high beams, as well as configurable daytime running lights, you can turn on and off in your lighting section of your vehicle settings screen there. Now on the side, you're going to see the uh, wheel that comes with this. And now this is, a, of course, a standard Sasquatch. So we'll have the beadlock capable uh, wheels over here on the side. They are going to be the 17 inch high gloss, um, the black high gloss uh, painted wheels. And the beauty ring is going to also be black too on this one here. So that's something a little bit unique look to the wild track edition. You will get the 35 inch mud terrain tires that come with this, with this as well. Standard equipment. You're going to see the higher, the wider fender flares as well. Uh, I like to call them the Sasquatch fender flares, but the, the wider high clearance uh, fender flares and help protect it. So that way you don't, since they're a little bit wider, help protect from mud and such getting onto the side of the vehicle and especially rocks. You get your wall, wall track badging on the side as well. And then uh, um, do you have your black uh, mirror cap here? So it's going to be molded in black along with your door handles uh, for this here. Uh, do you also get the uh, mirrors are going to be a power heated glass with the integrated blind spot mirror and you also get the bliss with cross traffic alert on those mirrors so what's great about that is the the bliss system blind spot information so if, if there's someone in your blind spot it's going to put light in the corner of that mirror unless you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time uh, also as you're backing up someone's going to cross your path behind you it alerts you too let you know there's someone uh, there a series of tones uh, you need to not, not back up puts a message on the productivity screen as well um, that you need not back up. If you look on your backup camera, you actually have an arrow at the bottom showing you what direction they're coming from as well. So pretty cool feature. Uh, talking about uh, going back to the tires for a second, I forgot to mention this. You do get tire pressure monitoring system for all four of those, and you get four wheel disc brakes with ABS as well on your brakes there too. Um, you do get uh, the front doors will get intelligent access. means you need that key fob in your pocket, walk up, put your hands in the door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle for you, allow you to get in and out. Also does have the keyless entry, uh, remote keyless entry with remote start. So you can remote start it when you're in close proximity as well. Um, also, uh, too, the intelligent access works on the rear lift gate too, or the swing open gate and works on that too. So you don't have to unlock and get the keys, unlock it to open up the back gate. It's going to automatically do it when you put your hands in that handle back there. Now, let's talk about the top here. For the two-door, this is the four-door version. Let's talk about it first, I guess. The soft cloth top is going to be standard equipment here uh, for you. We'll also get the uh, capabilities and the wiring for if you want to add a hard top later. So we'll have the hard top prep kit. That's what they call that. Rear defrost for the rear wiper and everything. So that wiring will be back there, plugged in in the back. So it's already there if you want to add that hard top later. Now, for the two-door, two-door standard is going to be in the with a hard top. So let me scroll over so you can see what that looks like. There you go. So two-door is going to come standard with the uh, this top here, the hard carbonized gray molded in top. We'll have the sound deadening headliner as well, rear defrost, rear wiper as well, and you're going to have storage bags for those front two panels to store those on your via in the vehicle for you. Also privacy glass in these rear windows, whether you have four door or the two door, as well as the rear glass, and then easy fuel cap as door. So no cap to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. And there's a double door system, so you don't have to worry about it. It has to be the exact size nozzle. So it releases that second door, allowing you to get inside uh, for it. And that's why if you like run out of gas, the gas cans won't work. You'll need to use the funnel that is provided uh, with the vehicle there. Now, moving to the back back here, of course, hard top, that, that glass does flip up. Uh, once you open up the lift gate, 
uh, soft tops. It's gonna have a little latch so it can you can push it up and uh, support it if you wanna get back there. Uh, swing tailgate, you do have LED tail lights here as well. On the back, rear view camera also does have with a backup grid line so you can see as you're backing up and guide you along the way. Now you'll notice the rear uh, spare tire and wheel will be the same size as all four of them. Uh, typical of all the Broncos. Um, and then let's see what else here. Uh, rear bumper is the powder coated steel uh, rear bumper. And you will have reverse sensing system or rear parking sensors is what Ford likes to call it for this year. One tow hook back here as well on the back. Trailer sway control and inside you'll have a cargo area light as well as a power point in there and a bottle opener in the door jam if you ever needed it or if you're out camping and such like that. Um, you don't need to take a bottle opener with you. You can just use the, the uh, Bronco to do that for you. So uh, I think I've covered all the exterior features now here in the back. Um, one thing to note, this is showing a body color door handle on that swing gate. That is not accurate there on this. It should be the molded in black for that one back here just to kind of clarify that. All right, moving to the interior of the vehicle, you're going to have one color inch here, and that's a black onyx environment here. So you can kind of see what that's going to look like there on the dash. So it does have uh, some, it looks like some tan there and some black environment. So cloth seats are going to be standard equipment. We'll talk about optional equipment in a little bit and upgraded to leather. Uh, you will have that option, but we'll get in it. We'll talk about that when we get to optional equipment. So you can see cloth seats, medium sandstone with a black onyx there. That's what that's going to look like. So pretty cool there. Of course, front bucket seats here are going to be uh, standard on this. You will have illuminated entry, so you can be able to see as you get in. Ambient uh, footwell lighting as well. That'll be the ice blue. You will get carpet flooring for front and rear. Also get carpeted floor mats for the front and rear for the four-door. Just front mats for the two-door. And, of course, cloth bucket seats. Front heated seats for the driver and front passenger. Six-way manual adjustment for the driver and front passenger. So you're going to have a lever underneath the front that allow that seat to slide forward and back. As well as you'll have these levers over here that allow, allow that seat to go up and down. And one for your manual recline as well right there. Uh, you do for the second row. You can see this one is the uh, two-door uh, version. You're going to get a 50-50 split bench seat. Seats two back here. Uh, those seats, uh, of course, can... You can fold them forward. So that way, give you some extra cargo room if you want. Uh, let me go over to the four-door version. We're bouncing back and forth here just a little bit during the video, well, which is all right. There we go. And on the four-door version, you'll notice here, 60-40 split bench seat, seating three in the back seat. Uh, that seat does not only fold forward, but also reclines back on the four-door version back there. Uh, you also do get, uh, moving up here and talking about this, power locks are going to be on the door with an auto unlock and lock. Instrument cluster is going to include an 8-inch color digital uh, cluster there. You will get the lane keeping system, and uh, never know where to insert this into the my walk-arounds, but lane keeping system allows you to stay in your in the center of your lane. It has a driver alert system that alerts you when you take your hands off the steering wheel too often. also does have a lane keeping aid or alert system. So what it'll do on the alert system is if you leave your lane, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel. But if you go uh, on the keeping system, actually will keep you go to the line and bring you into your lane, try to keep you in your lane. So you do have to activate that. You can do that. I believe it's on the steering wheel or that system. Uh, so you can have that working. So lane keeping system is included. Uh, this The wild track this comes standard with the mid package on it already. Uh, this does have the manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So a le uh, lever underneath, just lower that down and you can uh, take it up and down, forward and back. Also gets leather wrapped steering wheel, standard equipment here. Cruise control as well. Push button start located over there. You'll have audio controls on the steering wheel uh, too and controls to control that productivity screen too. You want dual zone automatic temperature control. So driver front passenger have two different temperatures. Your stereo is an AM FM stereo with seven speakers, including a subwoofer. You will get Sirius XM with a new 360L. Those are super categories and listener profiles and everything. Standard equipment, Sync 4 system with the enhanced voice recognition system. So this is going to give you the 8-inch LCD touchscreen, the Apple Car, the wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Also going to get you the connected navigation with a 90-day trial included here. Um, and connected nav means that you're going to have the on-screen navigation system. After 90 days, you'll have to, uh, of course, sign up for a subscription for that. I think it's about 10 bucks a month. 
uh, auxiliary switches uh, up here as well. Let's go into 360 mode so you can kind of see that. There you go. So auxiliary switches are up here where the sunglass bin would normally be. You do have um, lights here as well. Uh, so you can see there's what's going to call them map lights, I suppose. Auto dimming rear view mirror, so you don't have to worry about a lever. It's the car's come behind you with those bright lights. It's going to automatically dim that mirror for you. Um, also, you do get illuminated visors here. So it's going to have little doors on those. Open those up. Uh, you'll have mirrors and uh, illumination there. And those visors can move and slide over, rotate over to the side if you need to block the sun on the side over there. Um, also, for the console, don't have a lot of, hopefully I get some, uh, I have some some good images that can show you this. But you do have a floor console with a, uh, of course, locking uh, here. This is console will lock for you. Uh, also, there's a power point inside that console. And on the front of the console is going to be your power window switches. Auto up and down. Auto one touch is what they call that, uh, which means that you just hard press it and it's going to go down. And it works for all four of the windows, whether it be two door or four door. And there's also rear controls on the back of the console for those that are in the back to be able to control the windows. And there's also an outlet as well as two USB ports on the back of the console. So you can, uh, of course, plug in a normal outlet, 110 outlet, 400 watt, uh, a USB type A and C port on the back of the console. Um, the gear shift knob, of course, this automatic, you're going to see, is leather gear, sh gear shift knob on the top. You're going to see your uh, goat mode switch is right back behind that. You have a media but a media hub is what I like to call it, where you can put things up in there with a USB type A and type C port as well up in there. And locking glove box, so the glove box locks as well as this the console. That just allows you to put valuables in there. So if you want to take the hard top off and roll down the windows, you can feel protected to be able to store some of the private things in there. You do get also a toolkit that comes with it. Usually people will put that in the glove box and lock it up. That gives you some of the sockets and such you might need, Allen wrenches for being able to take the hard top off and, and that kind of thing without having to go to your toolbox or have a, a set of toolbox on the Bronco itself. Also, you do get the Ford Pass Connect. allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. It's a free app that you download. Uh, connect your vehicle in there. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere. You can schedule. You can remote start your vehicle from anywhere. Schedule remote start time. See the tire pressure on your tires. See how much fuel you have in the vehicle, even where the vehicle is located. All using that app. Pretty cool app to, to use, um, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So make sure you download the app and connect your vehicle. So let's go ahead and talk about a couple packages that are available uh, for this uh, for the uh, Wild Track. One of them, of course, we talked about the mid package already included in this, as well as the Sasquatch package is already included in the Wild Track. Uh, but there is a high package that is available. So it's twelve ninety five for the high package. Click on the eyes, we'll get a little more information there. So you're getting the bigger twelve inch touchscreen. In fact, we're going to go ahead and add this and. Uh, um, you can you can see the information that you get there, but we're going to actually select it and then we're going to look at it and see what you uh, how it looks on the vehicle itself. So big 12 inch touchscreen LCD captive uh, course touchscreen with the swipe uh, technology and capabilities. Uh, kind of uh, information on demand, which means there's going to be a panel on the right side that is one information. You might have navigation is the main one, and maybe you have. Um, you know, radio on the other section, you can slide it over and they switch places and then you have the radio and you can switch back to navigation. So that's pretty nice to have. Also, you get 360 degree camera. So there's going to be a camera under each of these mirror, side mirrors. There's one on the front as well as the back. So you can see completely around you. Uh, comes in real handy, especially if you're on the trail, you can hit that front camera and you're going to be able to see that trail in front of you using that front camera. You will get additional sound deadening materials in the vehicle as well you get front sensing system as well as the rear so now you have front sensing too uh, and you also get the as i mentioned information on demand and on the side view mirrors you're going to get the led uh, spotlights over here uh, with the uh, also this the led approach lamps that's going to light the ground beside you with when you unlock it with your remote uh, or put your hands in the door handle and then the, the spotlights allows you to use either left or right to cast spotlights out. So especially if you're doing off-roading, you know, at nighttime, that can come in real handy. So this is a, a pretty popular package. High package gets you the 360 camera, bigger screen, and front sensing system, and, of course, the L upgraded mirrors features right here. So pretty good a package there for $12.95. So now let's talk about the next package up, and that is the Lux package. Now these are actually given equipment groups. So 352A is your mid package, 353A is your high package, and we're talking about the 354A, your Lux package, which is $31.95 from the mid package. So it includes everything from your high package, plus these features uh, here. 
again you're getting uh, a lot of these uh, great and in, in features here uh, biggest one is this is where you get your adaptive cruise control uh, with your evasive steering assist so adaptive cruise if you have that cruise set it's going to slow you down to go to speed in front of a vehicle in front of you until you're able to pass them and uh, so you're going to have the, that adaptive cruise come in real handy so you can switch back and forth between traditional and adaptive cruise evasive steering assist also if you can't stop in time and you need to turn out and away it's going to assist in that steering around the vehicle um, and then also you get the be no audio sound system bang and olsen 10 speakers upgrades from 7 to 10 including a subwoofer you get the heated steering wheel now along with the leather wrap steering wheel you get your dual smart usb ports so what that's going to do is going to give you two more usb ports here on the dash so right up here now you can't really see it on this image but above those hero buttons switches which i didn't go over now uh, you're going to have the uh, usb ports that usually type a and c allows you to be able to mount a gopro up there if you want to record the trail and such or, or or yourself driving the vehicle or both you can plug in two different devices there and keep them charged up for you so that's uh, what's included in that so let's see what else was included there i guess i have my notes i gotta be looking at but now also you do have universal garage door opener so on the visor itself you're going to have three different garage door opener uh, you can program with transmitters uh, I'll come back to the sync four. You also have the wireless charging pad that is going to be located, uh, down in the media hub area down here. So you can wireless charge your phone. If you have a wireless charging phone, uh, of course, uh, also you do have the, um, the screen here, it's going to upgrade your navigation. So this is where you're going to get the sync four with the upgraded voice information system with the, um, where you, now you can actually say, you know, okay, Ford and that kind of thing and, and give you that Ford, uh, voice assistance. Uh, with the vehicle um, not only just being able to do that through android auto and apple carplay if you wanted to but you can also do this without having to press the button with there and you're going to get a three-year subscription to the navigation instead of just a 90 day so included in this package is three three years of service of the navigation and then after three years is when you would then subscribe uh, subscribe to the connected uh, services to get that navigation longer so again this is a very popular package too a lot of people like this package um, because this is where you're getting your adaptive cruise control and they would like to have that. So a lot of people go up to this for the adaptive cruise and the upgraded navigation system uh, that gets you for, you know, for course for a longer period of time. So there you go. That package is available as well. Uh, so three different packages to think about. Uh, and basically you'd want to select one of these and then your dealer would use that equipment group when they go ahead and, and order your vehicle. Another package for you to think about is whether or not you want to go with the tow capability package. Uh, and this package here is something that will hold up your builds. So, in fact, it's flagged when you go to put this order in or um, confirm your order if you have a 22 order. Um, it actually warns you that this could really hold up and delay your vehicle from being selected for scheduling. Uh, you will see it does give you the two inch receiver hitch right here. Also gives you the four pin and seven pin wiring. Uh, and the reason I bring this up is a possibility is, is that you can add a hitch later for about 500 bucks. Wiring, usually the dealership will charge you quite a bit to wire it because it wires in and you have to pull the dash apart and everything. And it just gives you four pin wiring. It does not give you the seven pin wiring. So you have to get this from the factory if you get the seven pin wiring. Um, and that does allow you to tow up to 3,500 pounds with the vehicle. Uh, you still can tow up to 3,500 pounds if you get the op get it later from your dealer. Uh, this just allows you to have the seven pin wiring from the factory. So that would be the biggest uh, difference is do you need the seven pin wiring or not? If not, maybe take it off your build, see if your dealers can, can do it, and see if they can price match that $5.95 or how much more it will cost you before go ahead and putting it on your order. Let's go ahead and move through and talk about exterior features. So now we have gone through actually up here. If, we, if you look at the top, oops, didn't mean to go through that. So go back to four door and start our build. You'll see at the top, it does give us our different categories. We can click through to get to those here. So you have your paint. And, but if you move down, you'll notice it moves over. You go to powertrain. Now we're, it's moved that over to powertrain. And then now we're moving down. We went to packages, covered those. Now we're going to talk about exterior options here. And we're going to break these down to the standalone options from exterior and interior options. Some of these will be selected because they're already included, as, was, as is with the wheel and the tire here. But we're going to go through some of these different things and let you know, you know, some of these are 
uh, things that are gonna, gonna be a factory installed options that the only way you can really get it is from the factory. You really can't get this in the aftermarket uh, through Ford accessories. Some of these are Ford accessories options that if you do choose them, Ford, uh, there's something you can get through Ford accessories, but if you get it on your order, Ford will put it on the vehicle or include it in your vehicle when it gets shipped from the factory. And then there's some of these what they call dealer installed options, which means there are a lot of these features you can get through Ford accessories, but if you order it from the factory, they'll ship the parts to the, to the dealer and the dealership would install it for you at no cost. Uh, so that's something you might want to think about doing. So uh, let's talk about some of these. Uh, first, let's talk about these tops. This top retractable uh, soft top here, 2480. So if you have the hard top, this is only available if you have the hard top, not available with the soft top. You can get this top actually added as well so again this is a dealer installed option so that would send it to you so you can put it on when you want to take off your hard top put this top on but this is an option for you if you like this uh, top a little bit better than the uh, the, the stock one it does require four doors and does require to get the optional hard top to get this added to the vehicle so giving you both different tops using this one as the other top here so that's an option uh, so we do have the top mesh shade up here. So a couple different uh, options for you for these. This mesh shade is something, it does say that it requires the, uh, it doesn't say it requires four door necessarily, but it says it requires um, that it's not available with the soft top. Uh, so it said it would re require that. So um, no, that's something to keep in mind if you're looking at that, uh, because that is, um, you know, if you, depends on what you're looking for there. Um, if you, of course, if you want this, you can get it through Ford accessories later and put it on your vehicle if you have a cloth top. So keep that in mind. Just because you have it doesn't mean you can't get it. You're just going to have to get it on your own or have the dealership purchase it through Ford accessories and then they can, they, you can put it on later. They're really easy to install. I installed one similar to it because there's two different ones. There's this other version here. So this in here I installed, it does have zippers here for you to be able to reach through to open up those. But as with this in here too, to, to get this in your build from the factory, it's a dealer installed option, so they'll send it to you ahead of time. You have to get the hard top uh, and you have to get uh, the four door. So not a claw, not, actually you don't have to get the four door, but you have to have a hard top. So again, not available with the soft top for your four door. So uh, just keep that in mind, a couple different options for you for that. And I'm gonna check these off as we go through them. So, and then the fourth option here, uh, is this in here, which is if you already have your hard top, whether it be two door or four door, uh, you can put this uh, convertible kind of retractable top back, just like you'd have on the cloth top. Um, so that way, if you know that you kind of want to have that, you know, but you want the hard top, then you can uh, put that on there. So that is something available again, uh, available on two door or four door, but does require you to have the hard top. And this would be a dealer installed option where they'd give it to you, send it to the dealership ahead of time. So a couple different options there. Now, moving down, there is the hard top. We've been talking about that already. For the four-door versions, for $695, you can upgrade from the cloth to the hard top and giving you the four-door hard top. It's going to give you a middle panel that you can that comes out as one full piece and then two separate pieces up here on the front, so just like your two-door. So, uh, And again, with that, since you have the wiring already, it would come with a rear defroster and washer and two front storage bags that will be, uh, they'll come with it too. So, and then for this year, first time we've seen this is the dual tops. So you can get the hard top and the soft top. So if you, you want to get that top as well as the hard top, I assume they're going to ship the cloth top to the dealership and have them give it to you just like they would with that other top if you order it. Uh, but that's an option. So in a sense, you can get a dual top and choose your top because we go with this option. You'll get this top that we're looking at here. But if you decide to go with the hard top and then add this this other retractable one, you have that other version if you want. So a couple of different options for you when it comes to tops there. Um, now, also, we do have the bumpers here you can upgrade if you want the ford performance heavy duty modular front bumper uh, i actually like this bumper it's really cool allows you to be able to take the ends off also put in your brush guards and such on there uh, this is a this is something you can add as optional equipment and it comes with the steel bash plates as well on the front it kind of goes with that and attaches to that so uh it kind of comes with one piece there so that is an option for you if you want to go that route and again that is a ford it is a ford accessories but it yes. will be put on the vehicle from the factory so you won't need to have the dealership install it it'll be on your vehicle when it gets shipped out um also we do have the full vehicle steel bash plates. So if you want the bash plates from front to back, 
you want to make sure you add this option there. Um, really surprised it's not included already. In fact, I had to double check my notes earlier because I thought it would uh, have that. Uh, but this is something that's optional. Um, of course, does require the Ford Performance front bumper, the modular front bumper to get this. Uh, so you can, when you uh, when you add the, that hard bumper, then you can get the full dash plate. So I assume uh, when you, I don't know if it actually comes with it. I think it's optional. It's still optional. So when I add it, you'll notice it doesn't select it. So because it gives you a steel bash plate anyway. But then when you add that, if I don't have this, you have to have that bumper to get the steel bash bumpers and it'll tell you and warn you of that as well so uh, those are a couple options there for you you also have this body armor protective molding uh, so you can get this too so kind of you can see that protective moldings there to kind of protect those uh, outside of that from you know if you're off-roading and such um, so keep that in mind now for some reason it's not available with the, the full vehicle steel bash plates <laughs> i don't know why but there you go not available with that so uh, but it kind of gives you it as a matte finish, uh, light textured finish, as you can see there, if you read that. Um, and I think this is, let me look at my notes here real quick. Um, I think that is, that protective molding is a, why am I not seeing it there? Um, I believe that's a dealer installed option, uh, if I'm not, uh, if I'm remembering right here. But I don't see it here, so. Um, so anyway, um there you go here it is the body armor protective moldings it is a dealer installed option yes it is um but it's not available with your bash plates Just the full vehicle that bash plates i should say also you have the tubular uh, doors uh, available in two-door or four-door version so you can have that that is a dealer installed option of course they'll just ship it to the dealership and the dealership will give that to you um and um because you'll put it on when you need it right so there you go an option for you you have this paint protective film i will tell you this is holding builds up so it's something you can kind of see it's lightly shaded it, it puts a film right here on the fender as well as on the front of the hood to protect it uh, of course this also is not available with the full vehicle bash plates as you can see right down there and this would come from the factory so there's a ford accessory but it'll be put on at the factory for you uh, but not available with the full bash plates there also, the roof rack rails with crossbars does require the hard top. So two doors, it's available. Four doors, you, of course, you would need to get that um, added to it as well. So make sure you get that, the hard top, but you get those with the crossbars. So that is also uh, something you can add. And that is a, it's a Ford Accessories, but it will be put on from the factory. Um, so it requires a hard top or the dual top option, uh, just so you know about that there. Okay. We have the tube steps over here. So tube step powder coated, uh, as you can see what that looks like right there. So that is available, not available with the, the splash guards it says, or rock rails, uh, but you can add that to yours. Available on the wild track and big bend. So there you go, you can add that to your vehicle. So tube steps, let me make sure I'm checking these off as we talk about them. There you go. Another step you can get is the removable hoop step, which I think is pretty cool. Gives you kind of a rock rail on the side, and then those hoop steps are removable. Uh, so that's that's an option for you. Uh, available on two-door and four-door uh, versions. So either one of those, um, of course, and available on any of your trims. I actually need to uh, double-check that I make sure that I cover that what's available with what what with which packages. But it looks like all these so far have been available with any of your packages whether it be the mid package the lux or the high package uh, we do have this tunnel cover soft as you can see that so that kind of protects it so if you want to take that top off protects it so you can keep your belongings in there they don't get wet and uh and everything else like that so it's not really that protective in a sense that people can unsnap those and get into those so it's not like a security thing but it's more of a just a coverage for you um, of course it says to not available with the steel bash plates on the wild track so again keep in mind these are things that you can get from the ford accessories and put on your vehicle later if it's not available on your build uh, again that one there it does require a four door and not available with the steel bash plates uh, for you uh, it is a dealer installed option, so it would go to the dealership and they'd install it for you. The brush guard. This does require the Ford Performance Modular Front Bumper, but you can add the brush guard as well on there. So that's uh, available too. Again, not available with the steel bash plates uh, for some reason. So um, I don't know if this has to do with weight. And by putting the steel bash plate with the wild track, just weighs it down and it's too heavy. I'm not sure, but uh, not available that way. 
So put the bash plates. So there you go. That's an option. And that is actually a factory installed option. It would be, it's a Ford accessories option you can get later if you wanted to. But also if you do get it on your build, the factory would put it in on the vehicle before they ship it out. The wheel locking kit. This is something that is a dealer installed option. Uh, so you can get that for your vehicle, including the spare on the back. So it locks it in place so people can't steal it. Uh, so they would replace one of your lug nuts on all of those for those locking ones. So again, the dealership would install that for you once the vehicle comes in free of charge for you. Engine block heater. Now this is a factory installed option. So you'd want to make sure you get this at the factory. Um, but if you live in a cold weather state, you want to have easier to, you know, to turn that on to uh, get it warmed up in the winter time plug it into your garage house whatever you can get this engine block heater on your vehicle and that's a factory installed option or you want to make sure you get that on your build from the factory also keyless entry keypad now this is a ford accessories option but if you do order it on your vehicle they will put it on your vehicle at the factory for you. Uh, so keyless entry keypad with the body colored out exterior which is kind of nice there um also you do have the wild track by side graphics so we have the graphics on the hood but if you want the side graphics that is an optional equipment uh, available on two-door or four-door and that is also ford accessories but they will put it on at the factory uh there for you so let's say a selection of this feature puts both the body side and hood graphics on the vehicle so we kind of already knew that um, and then one of the extra options to kind of note that's not listed here, and that is a front license plate bracket. So uh, some states like Kansas doesn't require a front license plate uh, in our state. So it is an, uh, we want to add as an optional equipment. It's no charge option though. So it can be put on there and the dealership would install it free of charge if you ask them to. Um, if you live in a state that requires a front license plate, it's already going to be standard equipment, but the dealership would still have to install it when the vehicle got, when the vehicle does arrive. Uh, so keep that in mind. And I think I've covered all the exterior options. Oh, there is one option that's not showing on here because it's an option on the order guide, but it's not something that is going to be required yet. And that is the going to the base LED headlights. Uh, so basically we're taking off the signature lighting uh, and they're adding as an option in case there's any constraint issues that's already in the order guide. But right now it's not required to add this option. Uh, to be able to do to do that. So just keep in mind that that's a possibility in, in the future. If for some reason they have some constraint, part constraints, they could make you go to the base LED headlight. So they have that option in the order guide just in case. Now let's move on down to the interior options here. And we'll go through these. And one of them, of course, right there off the bat is your leather seat. So if you decide to go with leather seats, you can. So you can upgrade uh, to the leather seats. It's $2,200 or $2,195 to be specific. Uh, does upgrade to the leather seats here. And uh, not showing it. Um, of course, you can't see the driver's side. But when you do upgrade to the leather seats on the four-door models only, you are going to get power driver seat as well. So that's just something to keep in mind that you'll get uh, both of those uh, with this if you decide to go that route. So uh, just double check my note here on the four door only. The following features are added 10 way power driver seat, eight way power front passenger seat and the armrest in the middle right here that you're seeing is only when you have leather. So I don't know why they actually have show in the picture for cloth, but you're going to get that as well when you go to leather seats. So not sure why they can't add it to cloth, but it's regardless uh two beverage holders in there as well that can flip down so there you go that's your setup for leather so moving on down you have the cargo area protector uh as you see here so that's available for you so you can add that to the vehicle there's a lot of different things and that's going to be put in the vehicle uh from the factory uh so it'll be shipped with the vehicle uh just they throw it in this is not available with the slide out tailgate option which we're going to talk about in a little bit and not available with the full steel bash plates so even a cargo air protector all right so it sounds like if you get the steel bash plates you're going to be getting a lot of stuff through aftermarket through ford accessories website so look for those discount days and discount months and get your all your accessories that you want all right, on-road assistance kit. This is also available for you, uh, and it is a dealer installed option. So they'll ship it to the dealership ahead of time. <laughs> Sorry, I have to laugh. All right, so Wild Track not available with the full vehicle steel bash plates. If somebody could explain to me why 
I would love to know why all these options aren't available with the steel bash plates, but it is not. It'll come in a box. The uh, dealer would put the older stuff in the nice bag that it comes with and put it and give it to you uh, upon delivery. Off-road assistance kit works the exact same way. Uh, so again, not available with the uh, steel bash plates. So none of these are. None of the cargo area stuff. So um, anyway, so there you go. And again, it comes in a nice bag uh, with the, the shovel and everything that comes with it for off-road assistance. Um, again, these are both options you can get through Ford Accessories a website. You can get it later, even if you get the steel bash plates. So <laughs> you can do that later, as well as the first aid kit. So which... First aid kit is available. Uh, again, it's a dealer installed option. Go to the dealership ahead of time, dealership install it. And again, according to my notes here, not available with the steel bash plates. <laughs> the full vehicle steel bash plates, I should say. All right, floor liners. So floor liners, front and rear, you can get an option with the carpeted mats and without the carpeted mats. So uh, so you can get uh, those floor liners. So what's great about this is on the two door, we only get carpeted mats in the front. If you get the floor liners, you get the, uh, you, if you get it with or without the mats, if you get it with the mats, it'll come with two, but you're going to get a floor liner for the back as well. So to cover the flooring. So that's a, uh, that is a Ford accessories uh, option, but will be put in the vehicle and the dealership put it, put it in your vehicle uh, and install it. Just put them in place for you. Also upgraded front and rear carpeted mats. So that is an option for you. So it does replace the standard mats for you. Um, and of course not available with the floor liners. So um and um you know what you can still get the floor liners with the bash plates just want to let you know that because you're wondering all right you just gotta laugh all right slide out tailgate so that is available for you so uh you can put that on on your vehicle um so slide out tailgate requires four door uh you cannot get this with the two door this is not available with the full vehicle steel bash plates of course and not available with a dual top either uh, for some reason. So I'm not sure why it's not available on that dual top. It does say prevents on vehicle door storage is why. Um, I'm not sure what that's to do with the dual top. Anyway. All right. Anyway. There you go. And then you do have a cargo net kit. So you can, can kind of see what that looks like. Uh, kind of positions everything back there. Um, and this uh, this little net kit here is, let's see, that is a dealer installed option. So it'll be shipped ahead of time and not available with the steel bash plates, as you probably already figured. The cargo area rug is available. It's a dealer installed option. Will be shipped to the dealership ahead of time. They'll put it in a vehicle. Uh, as you can see down there, not available with the steel bash plates. And uh, does require a four-door, by the way, not available with the two-door. And then uh, moving down, we do have storage bags. So we have a front row storage panels uh, storage bag. So um, so it's for the the top panels. So it's a storage bag for the front two panels. Uh, this is uh, does require the um, of course hard top to get this. Of course, uh, would makes uh, makes a lot of sense. Uh, let me find the storage bags. Uh, requires four door. Um, also, this one says requires soft top. Um, black cloth so this is for your dual tops evidently includes one bag uh, to store the front two panels uh, and uh, over the front row of the vehicle so there you go all right and then you have these storage bags for the door so if you have the four door only not available the two door you can uh, put those storage bags in there uh, put the doors in there so they can go back in the back so this is uh, available four door only um, so it does require the soft top um, because the hard top, evidently, you wouldn't be able to fit everything in there somehow. Uh, must uh, get in the way or something. So there you go. That's uh, available for you. You do have this option if you do have the you know the four door uh, hard top version uh, is right here. Uh, that's why this separate. I should make after this many videos. I should remember this. But this is the option if you have the hard top. So you would get the hard top, which means you get the two storage bags for the front panels in the doors with this option so uh, that you would choose which option you have if you have the cloth tops um, you wouldn't need the panel one so you'd go with that option same, that's why it's the same price and then if you go with the uh, hard top then you go with that other option there for you um, and then you do have the tailgate table uh, so that's also available uh, tailgate table there um, click on that so you can see that goes on the tailgate itself and that's available um, so it does require a four door for the wild track, as you can see there, uh, not available with the slide out tailgate either, uh, there. Um, so you have that option. So, um, but, uh, it is available with the steel bash plates. 
There you go. <laughs> All right. And then we do have the storage bag for the middle row. So if you have a four-door hardtop version, then you want that middle panel to come out. You can use this and store it in here. Just be aware that that may not be able to be stored in your vehicle while you're driving unless you have the back seats folded down probably uh, because of the width back there, of course. Um, let's see, moving on down, we do have the safety. We have the console vaults, what I call it. So you go, that's an option for you. Again, not available with the steel bash plates. Not sure why. Uh, so it's not available to steel bash plates on the wild track, but it is available in two door or four door, it looks like there. Um, so, all right. So there you go. Um, actually, this here says, let me look at the, my note here. Uh, this here says not available to steel bash plates. And on here, it does say requires two door, but it does not necessarily require two door. So available in two door or four door um, for you. So there you go. Those are your inch here options. Make sure I didn't miss anything here. Uh, we do have the moving on down didn't get to it yet is the navigation so there is an upgrade down here there you go you can get the connected built-in navigation three years of service so if you want to get that and not go up to the lux package for 600 700 you basically prepay your navigation for three years uh, so you're getting it that way so instead of getting the subscription uh, so that is an option for you uh, if you want to go that route for you and they do have an option on here that they added Again, just in case they have to do this, like they uh, almost had to do last year, and that is removing the navigation. So there's an option here for navigation removal. It will only be added to the vehicle if they have to, if they need to do that to schedule vehicles out because of constraints and park constraints and such like that. Otherwise, I think we have all of the options already. We've gone over all of them now and covered everything. So there you go, there's all of our standard equipment. We've talked about the couple different packages available. Uh, also, we covered about the, the options, standalone options, and how you would get those. And keep in mind on those options, you can get a lot of those that we talked about that were dealing installed options and accessories through Ford Accessories later and put them on yourself or have your dealer put them on and install them for you. So just keep that in mind. There's a lot of flexibility there for you. And that's what's great about the Bronco is it's uh, its accessories uh, and what, what can be put on the vehicle. So keep that in mind as well. And keep in mind, uh, this is information that's helpful for those that have a 22, uh, you know, order that got flipped to 23, uh, didn't get an unscheduled 22 order. You can go to your dealership now, get updated. If you want to get updated to this, uh, this, um, this trim, you can do that and change it. If you had a different trim last year, you can switch to the wild track. Uh, if you had a wild track and you don't, you can select one of the others, uh, watch those videos. So hopefully this video helps you out for, the, for one of those customers. If you're waiting to be able to order a new 23, do believe we'll be able to order 23s this model year. Um, but we are they are wanting to make sure that they take care of all of the the current uh, res or order holders right now that have not been scheduled yet. They're trying to take care of them first before taking new orders. So we probably uh, should get some notification probably in late November, December on what the time frame is to be able to open up the order banks for new orders for 23. So hopefully this video helps you out for those that are waiting to do that and allows you to be able to select which trim is going to work and what's available on options that they want to put on their build to get that order in as quick as possible. So again, hopefully you have a great local dealership that will work with you. There are some great dealerships out there that are honoring MSRP pricing and such. Uh, and knows how to uh, honor price protection as well as lock in any kind of incentives that are available when you ordered. Uh, if you're struggling to find that, Law MacArthur can help you out. We uh, we are very fortunate. We're getting a uh, pretty good amount of allocations. Uh, only about half of our yearly allocations are going to be taken up by people that have a 22 current order. So we're still going to be able to order about 70, 60, 70 uh, new 23 orders. So uh, you know, if you want to contact us, we are doing MSRP pricing on all ordered Broncos. We're also, our dealer fee is $500, and uh, we uh, don't add any other additional fees or anything. We know how price protection works and, and, lock, and locking in any current incentives that you want. We know how everything like that works here at the dealership, and we'll make sure that we COVP your order so you will get this price protection for you when your vehicle does get scheduled and finally comes in. So, again, hopefully uh, we can help you out, and please contact us if you want to do that. Uh, information in, as well is down below in the description. Our phone number is down there if you want to reach out to us, and uh, you can uh, do that there. 
or you can go to a website and fill out a form and we can start that conversation with you again thanks for watching this video don't forget oh you can find us on social media at law MacArthur on facebook twitter or instagram also check out my linktree account if you want to try to connect with me on social media there's uh my information all the different links and where you can find me on different social media sites using that linktree account so again thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed it and don't forget we're going to be finishing out with the everglades and the raptor yet um, maybe the heritage limited edition we'll see if we do a video on that or not but be looking for those videos in the near future until then we'll see you later